In today's video, we are painting on a cutting board. That being said, I'm gonna get you down and we're gonna get busy on some fall colors for Thanksgiving. Okay guys, so I have the cutting board down and I am going to just mark this with a pencil of how I want my design to go. So it's a pretty big board. So it'll give enough room to work on if I just do like this edge right here. And I don't think I want it even. I'm just going to kind of do it like that. I think that should be enough. And I can see that um, basically the top's gonna be there, bottom's gonna be here that's enough room to work on so that they don't have to worry about the paint or the resin being on the board so I wanted a bigger board to start with um, I'm gonna do a few things on video I'm using a color to go deep base that's not tinted from Sherwin-Williams I'm gonna lay that down and then we're going to take the colors I have and we're going to kind of blow them out like a half bloom this way um, and then I'm gonna do some twirlies and we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna resin it I do need to make some cell activator so I will do that right now it won't take us long I have some Amsterdam in oxide black and I've got some whoop. <laughs> I had some hey, it landed right I have some flood Floetrol Australian almost out of that and I am just going to do this right fast usually do about five grams of paint and that's five so I do three to one so three parts paint one part Australian Floetrol so we've got five grams times three is 15 grams you can clear it out and do 15 grams or you can just add the 15 grams to the five to get the 20 either way so I'm just going to leave it at five and get to 20 and 20 all right that's done I've never done that on camera and I just wanted you guys to see just how easy it is to do and basically just stir it up. It's going to come off your stick like so. Well, if I could get it to come off my stick, it's going to come off and blow. And it's going to come back. See that elastic? It's going to do that. All right. So I have a white and black cell activator, both mixed with Australian Floetrol. I've never, ever done this before. I don't even know if this is gonna work, so let's get busy. My colors. I'm using Cunag, Quinacridone, Nickel Azo Gold by Golden. I have Cinnamon by TLP. It's a uh, this little piggy pigment. I have Obsidian by Deco Art. I have an Antique Bronze from, I think it's Artist Loft. Yeah, it's Artist Loft. And I am using the Alpha Pigments in the Alpha Pearl and the Alpha Pigments in the Egyptian Gold. And like I said, the white and black cell activators. So, like I said, this base is an untinted deep base by Sherwin-Williams. I have no idea if this is going to work. Um, hopefully it does. I have taped the back of my board and just kind of covered it with plastic so that I didn't have to take the whole thing. That way it doesn't get messed up. I'm going to probably just pour it on here and then kind of work it over. So, all right, I'm gonna do this. I don't want to use too much paint. Paint and resin are two totally different things. You don't want a whole lot of paint on here. Um, for your blooms, so okay, that looks good. Just covering the sides just so it has an even coverage on it. Okay, um, we should be good. I think I have enough paint to blow. All right, let's get busy. I'm just gonna make puddles and then we're gonna blow. I'm gonna blow this way, so. The Cunag. I'm gonna do one at a time just to see where they are. The cinnamon. 
I love this color, it's so pretty. It's the first time I've used it, really pretty. Here's the obsidian. Bronze. Little bit of white, cell activator, not much. And I think I want it right here too, because I'm gonna blow it that way. Okay, let's see what happens here. like that yeah yeah I'm gonna do another one over here and then we'll just work our way through oh that's pretty uh, very very pretty once you've done the first one it is a little less uh, terrifying to do the next one <laughs> I was coming to do lazy Susans today and I have these boards sitting here and uh, I kind of wanted to get one done, so it's fun. Fun to do new things that you've never done before, for sure. And then on the handle, we'll do a little, a little bit of uh, colors, I guess. Yeah, and then just a little bit of uh, blowing out here. Okay, let's try that just going to be um, without the little poor Jess I just blew my lids everywhere <laughs> okay um, that's beautiful that's gorgeous Very pretty. Um, I want to do a little swirlies. I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close-up and then I'm going to retire this and let it dry and then we will see if it works okay so I just have a little bit of battery um, I redid this it's kind of put more cell activator and blew it over but wow that's pretty huh I added some swirlies can I help it Super pretty, I love it. Okay, we're going to let this dry and I'll be back. Okay, everyone, we are back and we are gonna tackle um, putting resin on the top of this. It dried beautifully, I love it. We're going to use the KS Resin Liquid Stone Epoxy. And we're gonna do that one-to-one -one volume. And I bought some rope caulk. It is Duck Brand Rope Caulk. And I'm going to caulk around the edge here so that my resin doesn't uh, run over. I was gonna use some tape, but then I decided that I wanted to use this caulk. So 
I'm gonna do that right fast and uh, let's see how it's gonna work out. I've never used this, never seen anyone use this, so it is definitely an experiment. I'm just gonna cut right down the middle of these ridges here, right in the middle. Life has been crazy and busy and stupid lately, so I'm just trying to get caught up on things that I had been working for you guys on some videos and this was one of them so I'm basically just gonna stick this to the board in hopes that it will just hold that resin in I think it's gonna work so the whole idea is just to create a barrier between my paint and my board so that my resin stops and your resin is only like an eighth of an inch high. And this is a little higher than that, so I think I'm gonna be fine. And then I'll be able to just pull this right off. But I have some little, you know, some little squiggly marks. Yeah, it shouldn't go through that, and I think it should be okay to just lift it up once we're done, so. I saw this and I was like, I needed this for something else as well, for like a house project. And I thought, why not use this for that too? So that's what we're doing. It does bend and mold quite well. But I mean, why not, right? Totally makes sense. Yeah, let me finish this other side. I'm pretty. Pretty pleased with that. Yeah. And this is just gonna be down there like that. This is all ready to go. So I've got my scale here. So usually on a Lazy Susan, I use five ounces and that's like a big surface. So let's do three. I'm sure I'll have some left over. So we're gonna do one and a half ounces of the hardener. It's gonna be way too much resin, but let's do 135. 135 of that. We're doing volume one to one, because that's what this resin calls for. So we're gonna do 135 of the other right in the same cup. It's been kind of cool in my studio, so my resin is a little thick, but I think it'll be all right. 35, there we go. All right, I am going to Stir this for five minutes and I'll be back. Okay, looks like I have it mixed. Like I said, it's been kind of cool in here. I just turned the heater up. Got tons of bubbles, but once I get it on here, I think I'll be fine. So let's put this on. I'm just gonna use this little stick to kind of move it around a little bit. And I just want to move this closer to my barrier here. This is perfect. So this may be a new hack for creating a barrier for resin. Let's see if it works. Now I'm going to turn my heat gun over it. Remember, resin is not gonna go where it hasn't been. So we're going to, oops come over the edges with my resin. That way my resin will continue to roll over if it moves. And that heat gun pass did kind of thin out my resin a little bit, which is what I kind of figured it would do. So take and pull that resin over that edge. It's gonna be mighty pretty. So I'm gonna keep working on this and see if I can't uh, keep the dam back. And uh, I'll be back with the final result in just a second, guys. Stay tuned. 